care of parts of the body, the teeth, face, and eyes. Hey, you're back already. How are the chapatis? Delicious. Hmm. You're the best cook I know. You always say that. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to discuss how to take good care of different parts of your body. Like the face, eyes, ears, hands, feet, and hair. Don't forget your teeth, my boy. Oh. So, where do we start? Teeth is a good place to start so that I don't forget. <laughs> All right. The teeth is useful in chewing food for easy swallowing, in speaking, and it also adds beauty to the face. Imagine you without teeth. Oh, that sounds scary. Exactly, my point. Let us study the tooth to learn the best way to care for it. Mind helping? Told you biology is my favorite. A tooth has five parts. That is, enamel, mm -hmm. dentine, Correct. pulp cavity, mm -hmm. cementum, mm -hmm. and the root. Show me your teeth, ma'am. Sure. Why not? We can use the mirror to see what you are explaining. Good. Now, you see the white outer cover mm -hmm. is the enamel. Okay. It is a very hard and protects the tooth from injury. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we can't see what is inside unless we break your tooth. Have you gone crazy, my boy? Just kidding. Okay. Anyway, let's take a Closer look at this chart to see the inner parts of the teeth. The layer under the enamel is called the dentine, which forms the bulk of the tooth. The pulp cavity has soft tissues with blood vessels and nerves. Are you with me? Go on, scientist. I am really enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Cementum is the bone-like tissue that covers the root which is attached to the jaw. That's it? Mm-hmm. Splendid. Care of the teeth is called dental hygiene. It prevents tooth decay and freshens the breath so that you are always comfortable when speaking around other people. If the teeth is not cleaned regularly, it could lead to plague. You mean like a plague? Plague is a sticky substance that forms when certain bacteria in the mouth mix with saliva and food remains. Mm. It can cause gum disease. And if plague is not removed by brushing the teeth, it hardens into something called tartar. Tartar? This is a hard deposit of minerals that accumulate around the teeth and cause decay. Tartar can only be removed by a doctor. Mm. I mentioned there are bacteria in the mouth. Yeah, you did. They feed on sugar and produce acids which corrode the enamel. If this is not stopped in time, it can spread and cause rotting to the whole tooth. Such a tooth becomes useless and has to be extracted. Oh no, I don't want my teeth to be removed. Then maintain them strong and healthy. How? Don't worry, I will show you. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. If you don't have a toothbrush, improvise one. By chewing a twig to produce fibers. That's right. And if I don't have a toothpaste, then I can use table salt. Nice. Floss your teeth once a week using dental floss. This is a thread that is used to remove food residues and plaque between the teeth where a toothbrush cannot reach. Remember to rinse your mouth thoroughly after brushing and flossing. My biology teacher says we should chew sugar cane for stronger teeth. Correct again. That way, your jaws and teeth get exercise. Apart from eating hard foods like cane and raw carrots, hmm. you must take food rich in minerals and vitamins for healthy teeth. And go see a doctor once a year for dental checkup, which I'm afraid we don't do. Shh! 
Look at your face. What's wrong with my face? Oh, nothing. Anyway, I just remembered that the face needs proper care too. It gives the first impression of who we really are, right? Yeah. Therefore, when cleaning the face, use a soft towel, clean water, and soap every morning when you wake up and just before going to bed at night. That's twice. Yep. Is it necessary? You bet it is. Rinse properly to remove the soap and dry with soft, clean towel. Apply cream if necessary, but don't overdo it. Because I may look like a ghost. <laughs> and some of that makeup may get into your eyes and cause irritation. And I won't be able to see well. Yep. Therefore, taking care of the eyes is very essential. Mm -hmm. While cleaning the face, pay particular attention to the areas around the eye. Also, eat a diet rich in vitamins A and C and work in a well-lit room. Consult an optician if you are in doubt of your eyesight. You mean an eye doctor? Mm-hmm. Just remember what we discussed to avoid seeing doctors unnecessarily. I know. Hygiene involves practices that maintain cleanliness. One who is well-groomed is clean like myself, mm -hmm. well-dressed, physically fit, and has stable manners. The skin is the largest organ in our body, mm -hmm. and that we should take proper care of the teeth, face, and our eyes. Excellent! Please get me more water from the tap. All right.